Samsung allows you to add different widgets in the lock screen. You just need to tap on this clock and you get access to some really useful widgets. But did you know, you can also access them directly from the always on display. All you have to do is simply double tap on the clock and then swipe down. Now you can easily view all your favorite widgets right from the always on display. And that's how I will be showing you 10 amazing deep hidden features for your Samsung Galaxy S22, S22 Plus or the S22 Ultra. Guys, you are not going to find all these features anywhere else. So stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. When I press my power button, I get 4 options instead of 3. I have this brand new option called lockdown mode which you probably don't have. What it does is, basically it disables your fingerprint and all other biometrics. It also blocks notifications from appearing on your lock screen. So if you are away from your phone, no one will be able to see any notifications that you might have received. The only way to unlock it is by entering the 4 digit pin. To enable this, just go to your phone setting and then go inside lock screen. You will find something called as secure lock settings. Just select that and turn on this setting called show lockdown option. Once done, now whenever you press the power button, you will get one additional option called as lockdown mode. It's like a safety measure that you can activate when you are away from your phone. I always keep my location settings off and not just me, I am sure most of you does the same because it saves some battery. But there are some applications that require location access. Let's say if I open a food delivery app like Zomato, you can see how the location toggle turned on and when I close it, it turns off. I don't have to manually change the settings every time. What I have done is, I have configured my phone in a way that my location setting automatically turns on when I open certain applications and it turns off when I am not using them, so I can save some battery as well. Let me show you how you can do this on your device. And then select Bixby routines. Now click on add routines. Now for the if condition, simply select app opened and then select all the applications that require location access. You can select apps like Zomato, Uber and more. Next, go inside then condition, search location and tap on done. You can also give a name to this routine that you have just created. Now whenever you open any application that requires location access, it will turn on your location setting and if you close it, it automatically turns off. I think it is extremely useful and it definitely saves you some battery. Like this you can create a lot of useful routines on your phone and I have already made a separate video showing you some of the best Bixby routines. After watching this one, you can watch that video, I will make sure to drop a direct link in the description below. Guys, before I move on, if you love watching these kind of videos, then please do support this channel. We are very close to 200k subscribers. So if you haven't already, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. It would mean a lot to me. Next, let me show you one of the easiest way to open apps in a split screen window. Whenever you want to open any app in a split screen view, first you need to open the recent apps menu, then click on the app icon and select split screen window. Finally, you need to select the other app you would like to open. To simplify this process, what you can do is, go to settings, display and make sure you have enabled edge panels on your Samsung phone. Once done, now when you want to do multitasking on your phone, you just have to swipe left and drag and drop the application into the bottom portion of your screen. Not only that, if you click on this icon, it will create a shortcut for you. So instead of separately opening apps you always use together, you can create an app pair that way, those two applications will always open simultaneously in a split screen window. Similarly, when you want to open any app in a pop-up window, just drag and drop the application in the center of the screen. It definitely enhances the multitasking experience. Next, what if, if you could copy everything and keep it at one place? Whether it's a text or even a screenshot that you have taken, you don't have to keep switching from copying and pasting. You can easily access all your copied text and image at one place by using an edge panel called clipboard. All you need to do is, go inside edge panels and enable this panel called clipboard. It comes pre-installed in your device. Now whenever you want to paste the text which you have copied, simply swipe left and here you can see all different text that you have copied on your phone. Not only this, you can also access all your screenshots. So now, if I want to share a picture or a screenshot to my friend, I don't have to go to gallery and then share it. I can simply swipe left and share the screenshot directly from here. Edge panel is definitely one of my favorite feature and I will highly recommend you to start using them. 
if you don't like default app icons that you get in Samsung phones and if you really want to customize and change the entire look you can do that without installing any third party launcher just head over to the galaxy store and search good lock it's a free application made by Samsung and once you are done installing it just open the app and download the theme park module now go inside theme park click on icon and select create new here you can change the shape of these icons but what i like to do is i click on icon pack and now i can easily apply any third party icon pack that i have downloaded from the play store let's say if i want to apply dove dark icon pack i just have to select that and tap on save this way i can easily apply any icon pack on my home screen when i open my recent apps menu you see how it looks different so if you want to change the look of your recent apps menu then you can install a good lock module called home up if you go inside home up select task changer here you can easily customize and change the look of your task manager you can make it look like this and there are different styles that you get inside this module did you know if you double tap using the s pen it opens the quick note in a pop up window but you can customize and configure to open any action of your choice to do this you need to download a good lock module called pentastic once you open up this module here you get different kinds of air command view you can select whatever you like then you can also change the cursor design but my favorite feature is the double tap shortcut you can configure the double tap action by default it is set to create note you can change it to smart select or even you can set it to open any favorite application of your choice i always prefer smart select so whenever i double tap with the s pen i can select a portion of the screen and take a precise screenshot next i want to talk about a feature called dual messenger if you go to your phone setting and then to advanced features simply scroll it down and you will find something called as dual messenger what it does is it lets you install the second copy of these applications on your phone so in case if you have two different whatsapp accounts and you just have one smartphone you can use both of your whatsapp accounts in your galaxy s22 just select whatsapp and it will install a second copy of this application basically it creates a clone of the same app so you can use two different accounts at the same time not only this you can also turn on this option it lets you to use a separate list of contacts in your second copies of applications when i want to share a picture or a file to my friends i simply click on the share icon and now you can see how my share panel looks very clean and it shows only few applications that i used to share media on my phone instead of showing all the unnecessary applications you can easily customize and make it look better just click on more options and tap on this edit icon here you can choose only the applications that you used to share media on your phone once done now when or you open the share panel you will only see your favorite applications and just click on more to see all other applications that you have installed so that's it for this video these are some amazing hidden features that you should definitely start using on your samsung phone if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i will see you guys in the next one